Hello again, this is uh, Lutra FM and we are currently on, this is episode 57 of the Wraith Rovers journey. Thanks for coming back, sorry about yesterday and potentially today. Um, teething problems with having a puppy, um, just getting used to having him and trying to make sure I can do what I'm doing and also look after a puppy, it's not easy. But um, yeah, so when you... In the last episode, we played um, the Europa Conference games and we lost 1-0 in, in the home leg, drew 1-1 in the away leg. So, uh, yeah, so we're out of Europe again for another season and then we kicked off the Premiership with 1-0 loss to Celtic and then we beat Queen's Park 4-1. So, for this episode, we've probably got Ross County, St Johnston and St Mirren and maybe Hearts if we've got time. So uh, we'll see how we go. We're playing Ross County now. And uh it's right, just sorting out the dog. The dog was trying the dog's next to me, the dog won't doesn't like being away from me or my girlfriend. So he is literally on my lap at the moment, snuggled up into my tummy and the couch. So um he was just trying to chew my uh the the pad the, the the plastic pad thing that i put my laptop on so i was just trying to stop him doing that right let's crack on uh Duris and goal oyano was right back goldson and davis in center defense manning on the left petrovic and mascara i'm sorry mascarera in the middle of midfield uh gelhart on the right longello on the left bar in the middle stewart up front Oh, I forgot Ross County's got a uh, former player, Admiral. Let's see if they've got any other uh, former players. Uh, Musquey, how's he doing from? Did well last season. Who else they got? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Hopefully, uh Musqui got a good uh, ovation from the Ross, sorry, from the Rafe Rovers fans because he was very good for us at the time. Right, first highlight of the game goes to us, Petrovic, Muscarera. Oh, what a what a lovely little extra. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's always a battle with Ross Stewart and the and the. The refs, they always want to do the VAR check. There we go. I don't see the point really, but yeah, good team goal though. Great finish by Stuart. Is this one going to go to VAR check? No, bloody hell ref, you feeling alright? He didn't even bother watching that goal, he was running off already. 2-0 up, doing well. Oh, look at that. Oh, here we go. This one ain't going to be allowed. Let's see what VAR says. Oh, there we go. I stand corrected. Right. Oyana racing ahead. That's offside. That why did you even do that, Gelhart? Petrovic. Oh okay, fair enough. I stand corrected. 4 0 after twenty six minutes. Absolutely romping them here at this point. Full nil off, eh? In the first half. Great defensive clearance there. Nice to see that we haven't lost concentration. But they're going to score. Oh, no, they're not. It's 
Sorry about that. Good, uh, good thinking there by, good vision by Davis, sorry, to figure out what was happening there. Shut that attack down. Bar over the top to Galhart, Galhart now to Oyanu. Oyanu with a great cross, unfortunate there, but that didn't end in a goal. Right, we're in possession. Manning. Longello. Bar. Oyane. Oh, Petrovic. There we go. Petrovic with his second goal of the game. He's got a decent shot on him when he wants to, Petrovic. The only problem is, a lot of the times he shoots with too much power and it goes massively over. But when he gets it right, he gets it right. It's very rare that the keeper saves it. As long as it's on target, he usually scores. Oh. Right, Petrovic, you've been playing really well, but you need to come off because you're tired. Barkley, come on. Uh, Brandon Barr, you need to come off. Gary Forrest, maybe. Goldson. Nice bit of passing it. Oh, look at that. Oh, I thought that was going to be a really good pass then. Still got possession though. Oyanu. Oh, look at that. Ah. Uh. Ref, the ref feeling a bit left out, wants to get included. Yay, VAR, we all love the refs. Alright, uh, Stuart, you're coming off. Shankland can come on. Great result though, 6-0. A great way to start the episode. Sorry, I can't stop yawning. I apologise. I barely got any sleep last night because of the dog. It was really weird. I was on the sofa. I felt like I was asleep, but I was awake at the same time. It was weird. Gary Forrest gets his first goal for us. 7-0 win. Excellent. Good, good, good. That's what we like to see. Right, I'll uh, I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode. Right, and we're back for the second part of the episode. Uh, just a couple of things. Basically, I didn't holiday because I was worried that my DOF might have sold Rui uh, uh and Duvers. So I had to individually fast forward day by day. Um, but yeah, we've signed a couple of players since since uh, the last part of the episode. So, Gabriel Cesaro, Swazo, Swazo, I think it's Swazo. And this is 
He's called Isaac Ali Mehihu Mulugeta. And uh, we signed him from the team that knocked us out of the Europa Conference. Because he scored, and I thought he has a very unique he has a very unique name. I wonder if he's any good. I scouted him. The scout report said he was really good. As you can see from here. He's natural in a couple of positions. Has agility, allows him to get out of the right tight situation on the pitch. Spirited individual. Um, and I think he'll integrate very well. Uh, I don't think he'll start every game, but I think he'll eventually start playing more games as it goes on. Uh, and then transfers out. We've had a few since since the last part of the episode. So uh, Parades has gone. Obafemi's gone on loan with a potential uh, fee. And then Quarines has gone as well. So yeah, so that's where you are. And then we are now playing. Uh, we're playing in the Premier Sports Cup now against St Johnston. So uh, we've got a bit of a rotated team by the looks of it. We've got Bryn in goal. Um, Binks in centre defence. Coates is a defensive midfielder. And then uh, Goué up front. So let's see how Goué does. There we go, we've got possession. Good ball by Petrovic. He's playing really well lately. This is going to be a VAR decision one, isn't it? I know, it? Makes a nice change for us. Oh, it's offside. Ah, that's why there's no VAR in the Premier Sports Club. There we go, we've got another another chance here. Gail Hart takes his time with the ball. Binks now across to Suter. Suter across to Rui. Rui now passes it forward to McCurk. McCurk with the shot that goes over. Petrovic. Oh, there we go. McCurk with his first goal of the season. Hopefully first of many. Right, they've got a corner headed out by us. Gue with a pass to McCurk. McCurk passes it back to Petrovic. Now McCurk. A bit of 1 2 between them two. There we go, another bit of one two there. Oh, we lose the ball there. And we get it back. Oh, that's a show. Alice Sims. Ah. Former Everton and Coventry player. Well, current Coventry player in real life. How's he doing for them? So he signed for four million. Didn't do well in his first season. Did better in his second season. Did okay last season. So yeah. Got a feeling. Oh, Dabo. Is that is that our former player, Dabo? It is. Bloody Dabo. They've got a bit of a, you know, two former uh, Coventry players in this team. They seem to be, seems to be a pattern here. Dabo. Did well for us, but kind of just went a bit downhill after a while. Nice to see him doing well in his new club though. Not that not to the expense of us though. But hopefully we can get back in this game. Oh, 
Right, we'll put Longella in there. Petrovic will come off. Put Mascarera in there. They've got a free kick. Nicely defended by us, but they've still got the possession there. <gasps> that was a brilliant goal by me. Uh, Ginnelly. I'm not too bothered about the Premier Sports Cup, but I still want us to win every game. Right, let's get this. Let's get back in the game. Come on. Ah. Uh. Huey has been playing terrible. We can't take him off, unfortunately. I can't give him a telling off either. Come on, Huey. Come on, Huey. Yes, Huey's turned it around. Fair play to him. I didn't need to give him a telling off after all. Come on. Yeah, I don't know what happened there because I had my... Uh, Cursor over it so I couldn't see the ball. Oh, we were very lucky there, hit the post there. Still might have a chance of getting a chance of getting a draw out of this. Right. Oh, I was going to say we're on the move, but we're not. Retain possession, though. Correct say. Oh, my God. Yes, get in. Just waiting for VAR. No, no VAR. That's nice. Can we get a winner out of nowhere? Free, free. Extra time. So we're down to 10 men because we just have to take a player off. I feel like we're... I feel like this is breaking the rules slightly because... How are they letting us get away with this? Ah, there we go. Maybe you can make loads of substitutions in extra time, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we are down to ten then. Because it told me to take him off. And I didn't think it'd make any difference because I forgot it was going to get extra time. And I didn't realise we could make substitutions in there. Oh well, it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it now. Hopefully the fresh players that we just put on will make a difference. Moran, you are... Rubbish. Right, suit now. McKirk, beautiful ball. Go on, Moran. Prove me wrong. He does. Get in. Richie Moran. Could be the winning goal. Right, oh no, that's not good. We don't want that. There we go. That's it, get the ball back. Moran, Longello. Beautiful bit of passing going on here. Ah, oh, we still got it though. Moran. Get in. Richie Moran with his second goal. Kills the game off. Right, can we get another one? Right. 
Oh, yeah. So that's the end of that. There you go. Brendan Rodgers was apparently in the crown to take a close look at Gary Ruby. Chelsea boss. Oh yeah, our DOF went for another Musk era, so it's going to be uh, very confusing when I'm talking about which player. But I think that's a really good deal for him. We only have to pay, like I think it was, how much are we paying for him? A loan, just a loan, and then they get 30%. It's about, about $4 million for him overall, which ain't too bad. Sent me next. Uh, no. Got a new under eighteen assistant manager. Bruce out for a bit. He looks like a good player, to be honest. I think we'd be stupid not to sign him. I know I'm not trying to sign loads of players, but quality over quantity now, I think. And he's definitely one for the future. Uh, I'm not giving you 47 grand a week. You're going to sign off. These bloody youngsters, very greedy. God, every day we're getting offers for Rui. How can they not? Did I not get the hint? We're not selling him. Stewart's out for two or three weeks. Ah, oh, such a shame. Hopefully, Hoyland will be back soon. Right, I'm sick of this. So here's what I'm gonna do. If you really want him, you can have him for. 14 million, which is the minimum minimum release clause. That will come off. I don't, can I? I need to do something, don't I? I need to. Oh no, it's not letting me do that. Okay. Right, my DOF signed this, this bloke here. Seems alright. Sorry, I don't think I took... Ah, Mosquera has rejected us. I don't think I took a proper look at him, did I? Fairly determined personality. Decent attributes. Nothing amazing. So, only 25. Yeah, we'll see. Can play either wing or in the middle, which is good. Right there, so we've got Cesar, uh, Swazo, sorry, playing and making his debut, and then the rest of the team is pretty straightforward, I think. Oh, and we've got Sakalov who's making his debut as well. Hoyland's back, that's good. Always good to have Hoyland back. I'm so sorry, I can't stop yawning. Right, not, not much has happened so far.
Bit of a weird one, that one, for the goalie. Oh, we've got a corner. Right, there we go. Let's put on a few subs. Oh, oh no, we can't take any more. We've been all over and we just haven't been able to finish the game off. But that might soon change. Mm, no. Right, can we get a late winner here? Last chance for us, I think. Corner. Okay, that was a bit of a weird one. Oh, he does, he scores in his debut. Muller again, Muller Genter. Already an instant hero at the club. We are top of the league. I know it's only four games played, but William will take that. Apparently, Saddam was in the crowd. Manchester United's boss. Right then, I'll uh, I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode. Right, and we're back for the final part of the episode. Um, we are playing Dundee next now. Um, We've got Duras in goal, Ruri, Suter, Binks, Man in defence, Koetsi and Petrovic in midfield, Gelhart on the right, Barr in the middle, Ali Salia on the left and Hoyland up front. So let's see how we get on here. Uh, nothing. Oh, here we go. First highlight. Dundee corner. Oh, there we go. Reminds me of the Man United goal. Ah, oh, I was hoping. I was going to say reminds me of the Man United goal against Liverpool, but it didn't work out like that. There we go. We've still got possession though. We got some fight in us. We're uh, we're willing to get it back. Oh, poor oh, Hoyland and lucky. Still got possession though. Sorry, I completely forgot I was streaming. I, I forgot I was recording and I thought this was my offline So I'm so sorry, I'm just really tired. Going in and out of consciousness after yesterday. Last night because this bloody dog. Right, here we go. Hoyland. Oh, beautiful little bit of passing there. Oh, we got a penalty. Barr is not getting up anytime soon by the looks of it. You know what usually happens when this happens. Usually is a penalty, but we'll see. Oh, 
Uh, yay! Right, man in. Scores, excellent. Right, let's see if we can get another one. We've got to get as many wins as possible because Celtic and Rangers are always in Europe, so their league season starts at... Well, they basically always have a couple of games uh, to play, so we can't really afford to make any mistakes. There we go. Home goal, but we'll take it. 2-0 uh, Right, bar Oh Got a red card by the looks of it. Yes, we have. Hopefully we can extend our lead now. There we go. We've got the ball back. Oh, we lose it though. All right, we've got it back again now. Uh, Gui, Ali Salah, Ali Sali, I think his name, Ali Sali, Ali Saleh, there's probably several ways you can pronounce that name. Oh, come on, Gui. Let's see this game out now. There we go. 2 0 win. Right, I think we'll play one more game and then we will call it a day. I'm hoping tomorrow's episodes. Um, will be a lot better energy-wise. Um, we'll be back for the... No, we won't. We won't do it that way. We'll just keep going forward because it's, it's there's no point. We'll just try and do it as quick as possible. We've got Rangers next game. No. Um, they're getting bigger, but they're still not good enough. I want 10 million. 10 million? 10 million? Okay, if you want to take the mic, I can take the mic as well. There we go.
All right, Rangers, Rangers, Rangers. I'm predicting we are. It's like we're either going to get, we're either going to thrash them or they're going to thrash us. I don't think it's going to be a draw. Oh, it's taking a bit longer than I wanted it to. It's because of the transfer window, you see. So I don't want to holiday because if I holiday, the likelihood is Rui or Dewhurst or both will be gone. Because the DOF will probably most likely accept any decent offers we have for them. And we don't need the money, so we don't need to sell them. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I need another striker, but I've always won. Since we started this save, I wanted to sign him for Rover, so I'm going to do it anyway, even if he's just a backup. Right, 15 hours left of the transfer deadline day. I've had some bloody offers for Dewhurst again. And Rui. I mean, fair play to them. They are getting bigger. Petrovic, rightly so, gets the player of the month. And Rui gets the young player of the month. How the hell was I not... How was I not man of the, uh, manager of the month? Oh, well. Second place. Better than nothing. And he squished me dog's head then, trying to move the uh, laptop closer to me. He's all right though. Tough, tough little thing, isn't you? Eh? Yeah. He was, he was all right then. He was fast asleep on my lap. He's not happy now. I woke him up. He was having nice little doggy dreams. <laughs> Right, we've signed Yuan. Ben Davis is finally gone. Is that a decent fee for him? Uh, he did well for us on loan, didn't he, a couple of seasons ago? Oh, he never played for us. I swear we got him on loan before. Oh well, alright, let's see if we can buy him. So DOF has gone for him as a replacement for Davis. He looks pretty good to be honest. Uh only a, only rated C though. We might not get him though, because there's other teams in for him. Uh, let's look to loan. Let's look to buy him, just in case. It only costs us three hundred grand as well, so that's a bargain sign in this uh, footballing economy. Right, so we have signed Lujan. Uh, rated quite well, but transfer value pretty good by the looks of it. Right, Lowry's in. So, well, I, I think our last signing will be that of a centre back that we've just gone for. I don't think, unless the DOF goes for somebody, I don't think we're going to sign anybody else now. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
when the transfer deadline day finishes, I'm going to call it a day and we'll just do the Rangers game with a few other games tomorrow. Because I don't feel too good, if I'm honest with you. I need to go back to sleep for a bit. Uh, but yeah, sorry about this, everyone. Just getting used to having a pet, having a dog. Dog lovers will understand my pain and struggles. Nine point five off of Dewhurst. I'm gonna see if they'll No. I thought I could get like a ridiculous offer for him or something. Then again, I wouldn't have any time to replace him with, so it probably wouldn't have been the best idea. Right, three hours left. Not long now. Two hours. I don't think there's any. I don't think there's going to be any more deals coming through. We got Nicholas Diaz on loan. The one point eight future fee. That's a pretty good actually deal. South American as well. We like that. Uh, Goldson's not happy. Right, that's that done. We're just gonna skip. We're just gonna just go forward now until the Rangers game, and then I'll call it a day in a minute. We won't play the Rangers game though. Like I said, I need to go back to bed. Right then, I'm going to call it a day. Uh, thank you for everyone, as always, paying uh, for watching, sorry, and subscribing. Sorry it's not been the best, this episode and last episode, sorry it's not been the best ones, but um, like I said, when you haven't got the energy, it's hard, and I don't like to take a day off when I'm recording. Um, and obviously the dog was a surprise, so if I'd have known, I probably would have recorded some ep episodes before I had the dog, because I knew... I, I, Having a new dog, you know straight away you're not going to get much sleep the first couple of nights. So, like I said, tomorrow tonight will be hopefully a better night, and I can get some sleep, and I feel a lot better and a lot happier, a lot more enthusiastic. But yeah, but thanks for watching, and all the best, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.